Road trip! Guys, welcome to the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. Today we are headed out on a road trip. It's early in the morning here on the farm. I just got done feeding the cows and we've got to run to Northern Tool. I've got to go pick up a welder generator and I'm looking at a set of pallet jacks to take and have up in my big shop building up here. We've got to move pallets of grass seed, pallets of minerals for the cows. We've always got to use for a pallet jack when you've got a big shop like that. So come along today. We've got to get ourselves a new welder generator and a pallet jack. We're leaving on Uncle Jesse behind, and we're taking the crafter for a road trip. All right. I ain't Woo. afraid to work. I ain't afraid to play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life. Times like this. If you mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what Woo. you can kiss. Before we leave, I want to show you Uncle Jesse, and we're going to start Uncle Jesse real quick, and then I'll show you the crafter. I call it the crafter because I just honestly don't like it. I just don't like it. It's a beautiful truck, but there are a few quirks, and when we start it up, you'll hear those quirks. So this is Uncle Jesse. Uncle Jesse has the nastiest under the engine, under the hood look of any truck. We're going to open it up in just a second. Um, Actually, let's just go on and open Uncle Jesse up. So part of the reason why, if I can find the handle here, where you at there, buddy? It's somewhere, there it is. <laughs> uh, Uncle Jesse is a 1967 Ford F-350. I pose the challenge. Guys, tell me what engine I'm looking at here. Is it a 390? Is it a 460? I have no idea, no idea. Tell me what it is. Uncle Jesse has seen better days, <laughs> but Uncle Jesse's still a pretty awesome truck. This is gross. Underneath the hood of this thing is absolutely disgusting, but that is all right because, oh, you're gonna see why here in just a second. Uh, Uncle Jesse is also a dump bed. So one of the reasons why we have to get the welder is because we have to weld some new cleats onto the dump bed back here. This one is good. This one got smashed. So we've got to cut these off, re-weld it, and I'm gonna restore this bed, put some awesome wood rails on here. And Uncle Jesse's gonna be hopefully kind of a showpiece. Uh, I've got some work to do, pulling dents out of the wheel covers and stuff, polish these guys up. This thing is really gonna look sharp once we get it all polished up and right. I don't know about repainting it, but we'll see. Uncle Jesse's door doesn't quite open <laughs> just right. So we get in here and we, oh, oh I, I recently blew the tires up and it rolls a whole lot better. There we go. We'll mash the clutch in, pull the choke, old manual choke. Don't even have to touch the gas. Uncle Jesse, I don't think we need air conditioning right now or heat. <laughs> Let's put Uncle Jesse in neutral and hit it. Come on, Jesse. That is why we love Uncle Jesse. Choke in. <laughs> Uncle Jesse's pretty awesome, man. <laughs> so from 1967, Chug, 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 chug. A <laughs> little smoky. <laughs> Tonight, or 2017, this is the Craptor. This is the Raptor, and it's not that bad, guys. I, I really like, what I love about the Ford is that you can punch in this key code right here. We've got the push button start on this critter. And it has cam phaser rattle. This is a really cool truck. It's really fun to drive here. There's a pretty cool hat up there too. Real cool truck, fun to drive, but not all the hype and maybe the new raptors are are meeting the hype of what they're supposed to be but there's a few things that i don't like the oversized tires tend to shake a little bit and this has the bfg all terrains on it uh, don't ever if you get a raptor never remove this uh, step if you remove that step it throws rocks right on here and the raptor is about six inches wider than a conventional truck so it's six inches wider uh, side to side and that's why it has these additional marker lights on here and it also has additional marker lights in the front in the front grille right here one two three additional marker lights pretty cool truck this is the rarest of the rare colors in the raptor i bought it off my uncle 
I can't bring myself to get rid of it because I like it in some ways and I don't like it in other ways. But a F-150 is pretty much a city truck for what we do here on the farm. So there's not a whole lot we can do. It does have the pretty cool uh, push button release on the tailgate. Yeah. So there'll be a generator in there in just a few minutes. Let's head to Northern Tool. Northern Tool and Equipment, baby. Can't wait. All right, guys, we're here. Northern Tool and Equipment. We're gonna do a little walk around the store. I don't know if you guys have ever been into a Northern Tool and Equipment, but it's a pretty cool store. Some people think it's Harbor Freight. It's not Harbor Freight, okay? This is a very special tool store. Let's go on inside and have some fun. Yeah, baby. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> and here is my buddy Earl. Guys, hey, Josh, Earl, how are you thanks doing? a lot, man. Um, you have a welder generator I for me? I do. We have a brand new welder generator for you. Sweet. Just came in, brand spanking new. All right, it's called right. Esob. Esob's a brand, I believe. Yes. Yeah, cool. Let's it check is. it out, man. I'll follow you. Maybe show you some of the good stuff we just got in recently. Yeah, the yeah. Aaron's line of zero turn mowers and push mowers, brand new for us. Excited mm. about those. Ooh, nice. And reasonably priced. Awesome. And steel. steel. Finally. Woohoo. We got steel at the end of last year. Steel is doing very well for us. Got the steel mowers. I bet blowers. it is. Steel chainsaws are flying off the shelf. Are you selling, still selling Husqvarna also? Yes. Okay. Good do. deal. Good deal. Wow. Man, we're going to come back to the steel section. Oh, we got to stop by and check these out here in just a little bit. Oh. I got a coupon. Or some power. <laughs> Guys, do you know, and you can tell me, I guess, before we go in here and do the spoil, can you go online to the website and sign up to get these in the mail? Is that how you get those? You can sign up to get the catalog in the mail. I oh, think yeah, the at big... the registers, if you give your phone number, email, you and this. address, you get those as well. Nice. Awesome. So just make a purchase and we get you signed up. $20 off coupon. Yes. Yeah. And veteran discount. All right. All right. Here we are. Awesome. Now, guys, you know I'm a huge fan of red tractors and red everything on the farm but they just didn't make it in red. So here we got a nice, pretty yellow one. The reason we chose this generator welder combo is not only it can run the generator, but it's a 150G is the, is the model number. We also have two receptacles, 110 receptacles, circuit breakers for those, and this is nice and watertight. And we have a very nice 220 receptacle right there. So everything we'd need to run on the farm, we can run this in the back of the work truck we're getting ready to build. And right here is our gas tank. Very, very nice. Nice fit and finish. And that's the reason we wanted a dual purpose welder generator. So now we've got four plugs and a 220 plug. Earl. Yes. Tell me about these pallet jacks. What we got going on out here? We have got some new pallet jacks just came in for our springtime sale. Strongways, one of our brands. Okay. Our Bannons, professional brand. Nice. Um, yeah. Well, this, I'm looking in my book here. Mm -hmm. And let's see. And also, it's in the bathroom, too, which is a very handy place to have it. Here it is. Strongway, that is the Northern Tool house brand, right? Yes. Pallet jack. And there's one for regular $379, now $359 and $399. Regular 379. Are they all yeah. full size pallet jacks? Well, one's a 44 um, ton capacity. Yep, 4400. Uh, 4400, one's 5500. Gotcha. Capacity, so that's the difference. I think the cheaper one's probably. Yeah, that's the we... 4400 pound okay. capacity right there. Perfect. All right. Well, that's the one. Awesome. You guys always get me for a little bit of cash <laughs> every time I come in here. So, not only a $2,500 welder, but <laughs> now we got a pallet, pallet jack, jack. But too. we need it. The wall of Milwaukee. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Is there any tool I don't have that I need? I'm always questioning myself. Is there anything I have that I don't need? Wait a minute. The wall of DeWalt. Awesome, guys. Ooh, mixed in. A little Diablo. Yeah. Devil blades. <laughs> guys, I love coming in here. Every time I come to Northern Tool, I always try and pick out a tool that I think I will need in the future. And we've got a lot of building projects going on, so let's just see. Oh, man. Look at that big boy. You lose a socket in your socket set, bam. You got a wall of sockets. I think this is going to be my prize. And we're going to take the clutch brand, I do believe. 15 inch, 12 inch. Yeah. Need a big boy. That's the one. That's the one for me. <laughs>
we definitely need to come down the welding aisle. This welder that I'm gonna get has a generator in it so that I can run both my welder and my plasma cutter at the same time out about on the farm. So that's really cool. I've already got my welding rods for welding fence. So that's what we really needed this for the project of building fence in a couple weeks. And uh, we'll get to see it really put to work then. So all this is grinding, buffing, welding, all sorts of awesome stuff. Summer, I got a wrench problem. What's going on? Need a bigger wrench uh -oh. at home. <laughs> but what we're going to be doing is uh, we've already got the welder generator. It's already been paid for, bought right. that online. And we've got that pallet jack, and then I've got some coupons for you. All right, so we're getting the wrench, the pallet jack, and then... That's it. That's it. The yeah. The got it. Now, can I use coupons here? Absolutely. All right, guys. So we got five off 20, 10 off 50, and 20 off 100. Bam. And can I get a phone number? Big Daddy. So I'm gonna get checked out, guys, and we'll see you out back when we load up. Here we go. Gotta get creative because we got a little baby truck. Now, get her strapped in, we can head back to the farm. We are using, as always, the shock strap. This is a strap with a built-in shock. My buddy Stanley, the dirt monkey, great friend of mine, awesome dude, recommended these shock straps because he actually wrecked. He hit a deer while pulling a trailer and his equipment was strapped on his trailer with the shock strap and it did not give at all. Super, super big shout out to shockstrap.com. I'll post a link down the video description to these guys. This is an extra, extra strong strap. We'll get this guy strapped down and get him back to the farm. There we go. Nice thing about the Raptor. Got your shock strap. Hooked in place, super easy strap to use, guys. This ain't your grandpa's strap right here, guys. This thing is awesome. Bam, shock strap. Perfect. Guys, this is the guy that helps. He is the chainsaw whisperer. <laughs> he is a generator whisperer. Uh, we were down here, what, six months ago with a generator that just had a gremlin in it. And the gremlin happened to be a dirt dauber nest. If you don't know what a dirt dauber is, Google it. So <laughs> he's curious about this generator. This is something that's fairly new to Northern Tool. Have you ever seen one of these? No, sir, but the ESOB group yeah. is the number one uh, uh, maker of welding products. Oh, ESOB is. I did mm -hmm. not know that. Yeah. Again, that's the Ruffian ES. 150G. Yep. So the cool thing about this was it's not like the rest of your welder generators. So you've got four GFI protected outlets right there and a 240 volt outlet, 4,500 watts, I do believe, and circuit breakers right there. So a little something special. Then we had to get pallet jacked here. <laughs> Need that. So we're back to the house. We're going to go ahead and get this guy off. I've got to put oil in it and I have to get all the leads hooked up and everything. Uh, we're gonna walk around it just a little bit more. I'm super excited to have that pallet jack now too. So the first project we're gonna be working on with the welder is working on building more fence. And all of our fencing is steel post with woven net wire. And I've got a couple steel table projects. We're gonna take you around and show you some of the projects we got going on for this welder. You always need a good stick welder for your farm. So right over here, we're working on a dry kiln. In other words, I've got a sawmill down there, a Woodmiser sawmill, and the dry kiln will have, these rollers need to be set up on these beams to roll lumber in and out of this. And this is gonna be my solar dry kiln, okay? Inside here, and it's about, I'm gonna say it's about 95 degrees in here right now. This is red oak lumber. All this lumber is stacked up for future fencing projects here on the farm when we start building some wood fencing. So all that wood has got to be dried in some way. We're gonna build a ramp system out here with that welder and that ramp system is gonna have rollers so we can take a pallet or a stack or a pack of wood, a lumber, lay it on here, roll it back in the dry kiln and it'll dry the lumber up. That's one of the many projects. Got a big stack of scrap iron right here. We're gonna build some awesome welding tables. Check out this tabletop right here. This thing is thick, 
really, really thick. So I went on the marketplace and I bought a bunch of steel so that I'd have steel to build welding tables for the new mega shop. And we're up here by the mega shop right now. This is a 112 by 50 foot mega shop. You've probably seen it before if you've seen the channel and the guys are finishing the concrete up right now. We've got some stamped decorative concrete. So next step <laughs> is to get this guy out of the back of the truck and into the shop, get the wheels on it. There's a box underneath there. It has all that good stuff. As be sure you check out shockstrap.com. I'll uh, post a link to the shock strap down below. Super cool, better than your grandpa's old, uh, old straps, that's for sure. Super cool strap set up. Big shout out to my friend Stanley the Dirt Monkey for pointing me in the direction of shock strap. Again, this is the ESAB, and I was talking with the mechanic guy. The ESAB is definitely the number one, he said, the number one builder of welding products. I had no idea at all. Here's the oil that we're gonna be putting in it. He recommended this, Kawasaki, 10w40 you can get it online i'll post a link to that it has zinc boost in it he said that is what this engine is designed to take so kawasaki sae 10w40 guys that's it that was a fun little trip to northern tool and equipment got some cool stuff that we're going to need we got to hook up the pallet forks on the tractor and get this guy all unloaded and move some pallets around inside the shop so we'll see you guys in the next video here on the stony ridge farm thank you so much Woo! We'll come on down Stony Ridge, bring your wife and bring your kids, we're living life pure and sweet, that's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. down to their local northern tool store and a little tongue tied there buddy just get a little tongue tied sometimes when you have too much coffee <laughs> Idaho, cheers America <laughs>